In this video, I'm going to show you how you can place your order if your artwork is ready to print. If your artwork was not ready to print, you would probably click here in the Creative Studio and have somebody set up for you or you can download our templates and set them up yourself. So we're assuming that your artwork is ready to print. So I'm going to order business cards. Really quickly, here is your product uh, picture, just an idea. This is the description and you can download blank templates down here and you can find out more information there. Uh, if you have, um, here's where you order on the right hand side, it says quantity and then next to it you have this button. If you click on it, it opens up a little help menu if you're not sure what that is. So quantity, I'm going to select 1000 square corners, size, US standard size, how many sides, I want front and back, material, I want uh, 14 point glossy, and then it says if, I'm se if I've selected 14 point glossy, uh, do I want it on the front or on both front and back? I'm just gonna select, I want glossy on the both front and the back for that option. Need us to design it. Again, if you don't have a design to upload, you can click here and that will take you back to Creative Studio and somebody can help you with that. And then once you have your design, then you can come down here and start your order or submit it to print. So I already have design. No, I'm uploading files that are ready to print. Design proof. If you don't know what that is, again, there's a button. You can click. You can read more about it. Um, let's see. I have skipped an option. So email me approved for review and approval. You can select what you need. Printing time. Orientation. My files are horizontal. Upload front. And any questions, you can click here again. It will show you the acceptable files and so on. And uploading my front. Let's see, it's uploaded. Front. See, it says no file. And when I click for the back, you see your file name right here. Or if you're using Explorer, then it will be down below the button. And this is the total for this order. Does not include the tax. So, depending where you're at, if you're in Utah, there will be a tax. Add to cart. Might take a second because there are large files that you're uploading. And you see this green message here it says successful. Files saved successfully. That's a good sign. If this was a wording message, it would be different color. That means you're not uploading correct files. And one way to check if your files are there, uh, just go through this, just make sure everything's correct. This is what you just selected. And upload front, this is your file right there. Upload back, this is your uh, back file. That's the name that you had. So that looks good. I'm just gonna go to checkout. And this is what it brings me, don't worry. Up here, your order is, your item is still in your cart. It just says, please log in. Or if you do not have an account, click here, sign up. It's a simple process. I already do have an account, so I'm just going to log in. Okay, so I am logged in now. And see that little login screen has disappeared. It shows my account, log off, and looks a little bit different. So I am logged into my account, and now, you see this bar says shipping method and this is the shipping information this is where your order is going to be delivered to if you need to change that click this make sure you don't do any PO boxes and do not abbreviate cities because that will uh, get your order sent back to us as UPS cannot deliver it to some of those uh, so please uh, make sure that's correct free shipping or Shipping upgrade, you can read more about it here. I'm just gonna go with free shipping. And that's taking you to your uh, payment method. See, we're, not, we're, uh, we're on the second step. This is a different address sometimes, not always. So this is not where your address is, where your shipment is going to be sent to. This is the address that needs to match your uh, credit card that you're paying with, you know, for your bank. So two completely different things. Shipping address is where your order goes to. Billing address is something that matches your credit card. Um, you can read the terms and conditions here. You cannot go to the next step unless you uh, fill this 
screen out so make sure if you want to read it click here open a new window I already know um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and agree I see my total and if you have a coupon you can enter it here I don't have any and here you can enter your uh, card information and then you will proceed to the next screen okay so I just entered my payment information and now I'm at the review part of this order and you see a couple of different uh, addresses delivery slash shipping information again this is where your order will be shipped to billing it's something that for your card once again this is your order make sure this is all correct this is your total since I'm in Utah there's Utah sales tax uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and confirm this looks correct to me and this is about it uh, thank you for shopping with us online here is your order and this is it this is how I place an order I can click here and print out my receipt or I can just log off if I need to see uh, my previous orders or order history I can just go back to my account and I can see all that right here see it's processing I can view it and there's my order and that is how you place your order